Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. Freya, I will not forget this. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Well... Achievement unlocked. Promise fulfilled. Heal Atreus. I believe there was one I got last time, but I forgot to check. Um... Ah, yes. Hello, old friend. Retrieve the Blades of Chaos. That's a pretty rad image of uh, Kratos, too. Oh, God. <laughs> Just thinking to myself, how are you going to explain uh, this to, uh... That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the one that looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. I thought Zeus was a monster. He was just extraordinarily selfish. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. How? Golden boar, giant turtle. You sure have some interesting friends. skulls hanging from the thing. I thought they were on this. I was like, oh, it's like a baby's mobile for psychopaths. Oh, we should go. Oh, it's not even day out there right now. Trace. Now then. Before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. Now I'm sad. gonna get that here. Amazingly, I don't see any. Of the winds of hell, I mean. What an ugly place if the water drained out like that. Oh, there it was up there. Good to see you back on your feet, kid. I, uh, I know we're running over time, I just need to, uh, I really want to upgrade the blades in this session, you know?
Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a settlement earlier. This isn't going to help. Get in. I will pull. I mean, yeah, you he's are quiet. He's exhausted. Are you dude. not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. No. After all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? truth I am a god boy from another land far from here when I came to these shores I chose to live as a man but the truth is I was born a god and so were you boy have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? <laughs> can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. <laughs> I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. You've always been a God. You feel like yourself? I do not know the reach of your Godhood. But over time, you will learn. Hope lives. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. <laughs> is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Kier's vault, do we? I mean, we're gods. We can do whatever we want, right? That was always true. What do you true. really feel like doing right now? I will show you. I like that! I will show you to do whatever the fuck the player wants, which in this case is going to Brock's shop! Let's try this again, without interruptions. Just 
temple is so full of secrets, I would honestly not be that surprised if at the end of the game it fucking turns into Voltron or something. Oh no, no, I guess there's just the one temple, so it wouldn't be Voltron, it would be a Transformer. <laughs> I almost said that with a straight face. Look who's better! Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? So what'd you find out there? Let me show you. Oh, it's up here. Oh, boy. Yeah, do it. Oh, look! Oh, yeah, like this, they're all uh, rusty and uh, corroded and cracked, but when I upgrade them, BAM! Yeah, now we're talking. Bring those back soon. I got plans. Upgrade of Blades of Chaos successful. New skills are now available in the Skills tab. Sure, let's do that. Now go send them all to hell. Oh, oh, that's why it says axe heavy runic attacks. I never even thought of that as, you know, as opposed to what heavy runic attacks? Well, now I know! Huh. Oh no, Missile, miss, Niflheim must be a different thing then. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, a Viking one on it. That's weird. Oh, and the pommels are now not the, uh, not the not the grip there, just above Kratos's hand. That has a, a Norse design to it too, even though the blade is exactly the same shape. I, I get. I guess I get that that Brock reforged it in the style he was familiar with, not the Greek style. I do kind of miss the demon. Oh no, I guess the demon faces are actually still there. Huh? What a weird combination. What can I get you, you little fart? Uh huh. Is that so? What'd oh, this looks like a nicer version of the one he's already wearing. It's a nice touch. Okay, okay, we can look through all this now stuff next time. Else. Okay, so that did take longer than I would have liked. I guess I'm just going to do a jump cut here, and then I'll catch up with you uh, in a couple days. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sorry. I am glad I saw those things in this, uh, session. Very satisfying to see him finally say the words and upgrade the blades and all this crazy shit. So, uh, I guess I'll see you in, uh, out on the other side of this elevator transition. days later and they've loaded me just outside the temple for some reason. I guess because the door we're going to is uh, just there. So we're not going there right now, are we? Oh lord, where are we off to? Let's see. We've got... Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh... Oh. It just doesn't. Okay. Right, the shrines of Fafnir. There's uh, that thing that Brock wanted us to do that I'd completely forgotten about. Um, huh. Let's put everything back. Yet yeah, this one. What? I thought go to map would just show me exactly where it was. Hmm. Well, fuck it. We're tracking that one now. The whetstone. I feel like we, at the very least, we should do that before we go to uh, Free Fafnir. Because you know, worst case scenario. Uh, oh no! Right, the uh, the dwarf thing doesn't work on dragons. 
I was just going to say, you know, worst case scenario, the whetstone will be in the possession of someone who can vanish into thin air. The North Reese Stronghold. Okay. Let's try this again, without interruptions. What are you talking about, my boy? Well, now I'm just very interested. There it is. How in the fuck am I going to do that? Yeah, that's the right one, all right. What? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, just hold the button down and you slap everyone, huh? Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Delicious! Plume of Chaos. Press right trigger during the second to last light combo attack. They really could have explained that easier to add a heavy combo finisher. How about this one over here? Furious Immolation. Increases the amount of immolation gained on every successful blade's hit. Well, yeah, okay. Like permafrost, certainly. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what part of the combo they're talking about there, since I kind of just get mashy with the blades. But, uh... I mean, if I can work it out, it looks good. Bloom of Chaos it is! Everyone wins. All right. Where are we off to? Oh, right. Without interruptions, you mean the thing we were doing on Modi showed up. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, when I was going to get the blades and had the red sky with all the lightning, I was... About 90% convinced we'd come back out to the lake and Jormungandr would be dead. Oops, not it wasn't A, it's B. Did they actually do anything? No. See, I figured the crazy storm was because Thor had just heard what happened to Magni. And that his response would be A, someone murdered my boy. So this is the night bitches die. Oh jeez, I can actually see that traveler up there on the in the edge, sharpening his stupid sword. Shove it right up his ass, and I'm stronger. But um, I figured that uh, Thor would also see. Oh, that wasn't a rock; it was a barrel. Ah, what the hell? Thor would also see Magni's death as a sign that fate had been broken. So if Magni was able to die when he wasn't supposed to die until Ragnarok, then well, I figured Thor would immediately make what a beeline. To the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. Uh, yeah, I figured he would think, well, if you know Magni can die, then maybe the Midgard serpent can die before Ragnarok. So we'd get here and there'd just be a giant hole through his head or something. Because, you know, otherwise, I don't know what was up with the bit where someone was summoning him. Oh, is that where Fafnir is? No, he's way over here. Am I just hearing that guy? No, I'm hearing whatever that is in that cage over there. I saw something moving back there. Oh, hell! Okay, let's not go in that direction. Unless the blue thing points us there! Okay, red. Got that one. I wonder what the city was called. I mean, I'd ask, but they wouldn't hear me anyway. North Three Gorge. Back about here. As opposed to what, my boy? Now 
Now I could just teleport back to Broxton and back here, but I won't because there are still glitches of the system. Huh. Do we have that? I guess we do. I don't even remember if he gave us that or not. He probably did. Remember we found it next to the dead guy. That wasn't ominous at all. This big old heavy door. We're sailing into an area no doubt full of cannibals. Maybe it's just painted on. Uh, shout out to Gundy's Lackey, who has commented on my videos for 250 days in a row in order to engage with the algorithm. I'm always pleased when people do that. It's a smile on my face. I was actually expecting the game to load me up standing right next to Brox. So I was going to make a joke that, uh, you're just going to have to take my word for it that it's been a few days and I didn't insert an elevator cut for no reason. Actually, at first I thought I would have to, like, redo all that stuff at the store, but then I noticed that the blades are still, you know, remade, so... Sure, 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 it's all good. Hey, Sindri, I've got something to show you. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. He has to have a cold. He can't smell the foreign magic. This mean anything to you, my dude? No? Huh. That's kind of a relief, honestly. Let's do it. Because, you know, I was reminded, well, thinking about the last session, I kind of got distracted for all by the fact that the Blades of Chaos are really, really cool. And I forgot about the implications of the blades themselves. The deadly grips of magic. Oh my god, all these stats. What we got here? This is money. 42? Actually, lose uh, defense on that one. Well, if I used up everything, I could make that. Oh lord! Oh, I thought that said tears lost u utility value. I was about to make a Batman joke. Right, this is nothing uh, to your liking. I see. I don't know, there's just so much in there right now, and it's the, gonna be the end of the video, and I can hear a- Oh, he's just right fucking there. Okay. Oh. Almost halfway there. Uh, oh. I wonder. Works just as well. I remembered to use the other button this time. And you know, let me say, I have always had a soft spot for uh, video games that let you manually draw and put your weapons away with the press of a button. I don't know, it just scratches a part of my brain. You know, I remember distinctly enjoying that feature. You could sheath your pistol whenever you wanted to in, uh, what was it, The Evil Within 1? To the point where when you couldn't put your gun away manually in The Evil Within 2, it just itched at me. Even though I played so many games where you just run around with your gun in your hand 100% of the time, when there's precedent for the other way, it just felt weird. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take oh, no, utmost no. care while handling it. It is a priceless relic after okay, all. Okay, I'm going to call in an episode, go to the store and see if there's anything I want before, you know, jumping in and uh, sharing that process with you guys. Till then, I'm Burning Dogface. I'll see you next time on Let's Play God of War. And, uh, I don't know, have a good one. Later!